Hello, welcome to CADM CNC Gyan Online. This talk is part of a series of lectures on CNC machining from CADM Technologies. You may be a teacher in a technical institution, you may be in industry on the shop floor, you may be an entrepreneur, whatever your role, these lectures are designed to quickly give you basic knowledge of CNC machining, which you can then build upon. This set of eight videos simplify the complex area of CNC technology. These lecture videos extensively use CADM's multimedia CNC education software to bring the shop floor live on your screen. Happy learning. In this lecture, I will be talking about work holding on CNC lathes and about how the part is held. The most common work holding device is the three jaw self-centering chuck. The chuck is hydraulic and the jaws move in and out simultaneously. The chuck is opened and closed using a foot pedal. The jaws can be either hard jaws or soft jaws. Hard jaws are harder than the part material and have teeth and bite into the part. The part is therefore held firmly and can withstand higher cutting forces. You can therefore get better metal removal rates by using higher cutting parameters. Soft jaws are soft and do not have teeth. They are bored to the diameter of the part being turned and do not cause any marks on the part. A part is usually turned in two setups. In the first setup, it is held in hard jaws and most of the material removal is done in this setup. The hard jaws are able to grip the part better, so higher depths of cut and feed rate can be used. In the second setup, the part is reversed, held in soft jaws and completed. There are also parts done in a single setup, like parts cut from a long bar that is fed through the spindle with a parting off operation after each part is done. When you cut a long part with just one end held in the chuck, its free end gets bent during turning because of the cutting forces. The result is a bell shaped part instead of a cylindrical part. This animation shows exactly what happens. To prevent the bending, you turn the part between centers, holding the free end of the part in a tailstock. This video shows a long part being turned between centers. The tailstock quill, which holds the center, can be moved in and out of the part through commands in the CNC program. If the part is very long, even when you hold it between centers, its center might bend in the middle due to cutting forces. To prevent this, we use a steady rest. The steady rest can be moved in and out of the part through commands in the CNC program. These are the key messages from this lecture. These are the topics that we covered in this lecture. I hope you found this talk useful. If you have any questions about CNC machining, please call me on the CNC Gyan helpline.